What's up guys, this is Zach with BitcoinLockup.com and today we are going to be doing an unboxing and review of the Trezor Model T hardware wallet here. Uh, this was just sent to me from Exodus uh, and I'll be doing a review on the integration with their wallet uh, on the next video here. Uh, but I wanted to do uh, just a quick review and unboxing of this particular wallet. This is uh, the second generation Trezor uh, Model T and I'll be doing another video as well comparing it to the Trezor Model 1. Uh, but what makes this uh, hardware wallet a little bit different than the Ledger Nano S and the Trezor One and even the Keep Key uh, is this is the first hardware wallet amongst those ones that actually have a touch screen, a capacitive touch screen, which makes it a little bit more secure for entering in your pins and other things so that you're not using other devices like your uh, desktop computer or things like of that nature. So I'm going to go ahead and do the unboxing now. I'll uh, we'll see what comes with it. and go over a review. Uh, one of the things you'll notice here that's different from this box than the Trezor One box is it does not have the anti-tapering uh, holographic tape that usually comes on the seals and you're about to find out why. So let's go ahead and open this up here. So here it is actually comes with a uh, magnetic cusp, like a little uh, snapper here for pulling it up and it comes with a little see-through window that says safe place to keep your coins. But as we pull it up here, uh, the presentation's pretty good. Uh, it keeps it very simple. Steps one, two, and three, getting started. Connect your Trezor to your computer or smartphone. Step two, open trezor.io slash start in your web browser and then follow the instructions. So here's the actual device and what you'll notice here on the device here is it has a square touch screen. Uh, it's about 240 by 240 pixels. And you'll notice that there's also on this side here an SD card slot. And then you'll notice that there's a holographic tape that's over the bottom. Now, this is key difference that they have on this one versus the Trezor Model 1 because they had the holographic tape on the box. So the box was self-destructive on the other one. But on this one, they decided that they would implement the security holographic tape over the USB port. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this off real quick. And you're gonna see that you're gonna notice uh, that it's very difficult and very noticeable that when you peel it off. So if anyone tries to you know, take it off and then replace it, you'll notice it because as you can see on the USB-C here, it leaves sort of a residue on the, the tape here. So when you peel it off, it will come off so that you can gain access to the port. But the one thing I don't like about this is that once you peel it off, not only is it sticky, but it's very, very hard to get this off. So it looks kind of bad. Um, you know, so that's one thing you want to be aware of. So if you're look, if you're concerned about the looks of it, you really just want to kind of either accept that or just try to ignore that. But that's going to be very difficult to get off. I mean, even if you were to use a knife to scrape it, it's going to scratch the plastic up pretty bad. So that's one thing to notice here. The SD card slot part of it is pretty nice though. So if you have anything that you want to sign externally and bring it on, um, you can do that as well. So that's something that is upgradable that's not available on any other hardware wallet. Um, so that's the device here. When you plug it in, uh, I know you can't see it now, but when you plug it in, it will have a touch screen for the, for the pin code that you set, and it will be a full color display. So I'm gonna set that down for a second here. In the box, uh, it also comes with the, <laughs> let me pull this up here. Looks like it also comes with the, um, you know, recovery seeds and some of the other, man, they really did this good. Oh, here it is. Thought I would have to break the seal. But right here it comes with your USB-A to USB-C cable. Comes with a couple of Trezor stickers. And then you will get a getting started guide and then two recovery seed booklets. You'll notice on this one here that you only have a 12 word phrase. Um, and you have two copies, one as a backup if you need it. And on the Trezor model one, you will only have, or you'll actually have a 24 word phrase. So uh, the reason for doing that here is just for simplicity, it's the same security either way for your recovery seed, but I just thought that was a notice, noticeable difference. And then they have in this really nice packaging here, this kind of this foam padding. But what this here is, 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 a, is a magnetic dock. So I don't know why you would do it, but if, if you wanna you know, keep it on the back of your computer, keep it on 
a, a locker, keep it somewhere else, you can absolutely do that. I personally wouldn't do that because I don't think it's that secure, but uh, it just comes with this extra magnetic dock here. So, and it has an adhesive tape, so you can stick the dock to anything. You stick it to a wall, stick it inside of a safe, uh, really whatever you want to do. So that's just an, a, another extra that comes here. And then, um, it does notice here in the box here, it says if the hologram seal over the USB port of the device is damaged or missing, please contact. So this is really just for a security measure, just to make sure it's not punctured or tampered with uh, in transit, much like they did with the other box. So my experience with this device uh, has been pretty good so far. It holds over, a, I think, 1,200 coins at the moment, and they have a beta wallet on the web USB. So basically what you'll be able to do is use this device on any computer. You don't have to worry about malware. You don't have to worry about any other uh, programs running that could interfere with it. So this is good if you're going to be traveling and wanting to protect your coins on any device, whether you're at uh, uh, a cafe or if you're uh, at an airport or a library or wherever it is, you can actually use this and it's safe to use and it will forget all of your details. So um, that's it for the unboxing and the review of the Trezor Model T. Uh, as far as it being used for uh, some of the newer coins, uh, they g just recently released a, a Tezos baking wallet that you can integrate with it, which is really nice. And they actually have about 30 different native apps that I'm gonna go over in the next review um, and show you how the interface works. But that's it for today. Um, thanks for watching.